If the incident is complex or there's been a fatality or we suspect that it might be deliberate in nature, then a, um, a fire scene investigator is required to investigate. First thing to do is to establish the scene. Uh, it may sound really straightforward, but we might have had a fire in a property, but there might be vital evidence around the uh, outside of the property and in fact further afield. We do a lot of liaison with uh, agencies and, and other interested persons at fire scene investigations. Uh, we talk a lot to um, people who own properties, um, residents, uh, owners of businesses, because it's really important to engage with them at an early stage. Firstly, to reassure them as to why we're there, uh, that we're there to determine the cause and not to apportion blame, which is really important. Um, and if it is deliberate, um, that what, what the next stage of the process might be, but also to get really vital evidence that we wouldn't be able to get um, without their assistance. It's really important, especially around if somebody's unfortunately died, that we provide closure to them as to ha how that occurred and allowing them to realise that it, it's nobody's fault sometimes and it's just something that happened um, rather than them going on blaming themselves for the rest of their life about something that they couldn't possibly have avoided. So one of the biggest uh, benefits that we provide as a team is to report on accidental causes of fire. And that's very important because we can link in with departments like Trade, Trading Standards and other uh, fire and rescue services to identify trends. We know that uh, trends and technology moves at a pace, um, so we need to make sure that our firefighting tactics and procedures um, are adaptable and can deal with those uh, issues so that we can ensure that we are protecting members of Kent and Medway.